Today I'm going to make a crossing signal. These are non-functional crossing signals. It comes in a kit from Osborne Models. And uh, here's the kit. You can modify it to put these LEDs in here and run some wires through the pole. And on the other end, you can put a light it circuit that will control the flashing. And uh, so that is what we're gonna do today. This is what we'll need to do our build. A crossing signal kit. I got this from Osborne Model Kits. Website is right there if you can see it. I will also put a link in the description. They are non-functional. We are gonna make it functional. And to do that, we are gonna need an NCE Light It Decoder. Uh, you can usually buy these in packs of three or six. I buy them in a pack of uh, six for $39 from Hobby Link. You could even buy them directly from NCE. So that's gonna control our, our signals flashing back and forth. These are the LEDs. These are two red LEDs, micro. They come out to about 33, 34 cents per LED. Um, I'll put a link on these. They come in a pack of about 25. I use these for a lot of things. I love them. So let's get started. I'm uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble a kit. So this is what you get inside of a kit. As you can see, it's a wooden model. Uh, it comes with a metal post. Um, this is a jig. This will help you align the sign. These are the base. And these are actually, this is the underside of the, this is of the light. And then this is the top. So th this piece is the top right here. And then right here, these are the pieces that make up the, uh, the circle that goes around the signal. Uh, the LED will be in between it. So what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna go ahead and paint my parts. Um, everything here, everything on this board is gonna be painted black. Now, that, keep in mind, these are two kits right here. I only need one. Um, so I'm gonna paint everything on this board black. I'm gonna paint these black. And then I'm gonna paint these white. For paints, I'm using Folk Art acrylic. I'm just... Uh... Using it right out of the bottle. All right, I'll set that aside to dry. You know, get these pieces. Now we get our cross section. For that, I'm gonna use white. But uh, let, I'm gonna let those dry for now and uh, come back, we'll start assembling. I went ahead and painted the back side of this panel. But this one I did not because I know that I'm gonna need to put wood glue on these pieces. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the pieces that I need to make one set. Now, using the jig that this came with, what 
this is intended to do is to help you line up the post with these cross sections of the sign. like that um, but I'm not ready to do that yet um, what this is also for is um, you're gonna take the long see there's a short one and a long one um, I'll take the long one and I'll slide that into the onto the post being very careful you don't break it because if there's any really resistance and you push on that this is wood it's gonna break so you want it to about right well you'd want to line it up with the jig just so just like that um, so I'm gonna take and hold that there and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna mark well I don't have a pin I'll have to go get a pin but I'm gonna mark it right there um, that is where I'm going to need to drill a very small hole. Um, so let me get a, grab a pin real quick. Put a small little mark right there. And I can take that off. So I got my Dremel tool here. And I've chosen this small uh, pointed grinding tool. And uh, that should help me drill pretty easily through this aluminum. But learning from last time I did this, I'm going to want to try to do it at an angle. And the sharper angle you can get, the better. Because when you feed the wires through, you're going to want no 90 degree angle. You're going to want to, to push them through all the way so it comes out that end. Okay. So you're going to want to feed two of these LEDs through there. It almost always starts out really easy like that. And then, oh, actually I got it. Okay. I think the uh, drilling at an angle like that made all the difference. All right. So now let's put this piece back on. And then I'm going to slide this piece. I'm going to put the painted end up. Okay. So I'll put a little glue in there and I'll kind of hold everything in place. I'm just using uh, wood glue. Slide that back down. And then I'm going to take these pieces. This is the intended to be the flange that goes around. Put a little glue in the hole. That goes on there like that. And then we're going to do all four. Start glowing the cross sections on. So looking at the directions, I almost messed up. We want this one. It does matter. We want this one in the back. Because it goes rail, road, crossing. Can't split up the word crossing. So you can split up rail and road. Now the trick is to get that there. 
To be honest, super glue probably would have been a little better to put that, to attach that to the post. Yeah, it would have been. Glue the wood pieces together with wood glue. But uh, attach it to the post with super glue. I'm going to go ahead and glue the base on. Now, you've got a piece with a little bit of an etch on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that, that goes up. A little bit of glue there. And then the next piece, you can glue it to it. We'll put the uh, two unpainted sides together. Now, now we sit and we wait for it to dry, or we could start putting the other one together. Personally, I'm just gonna sit here and let this one dry. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up a few parts that didn't get paint. Okay, for this part, you're probably going to want to go ahead and wash your hands so that you don't get any of uh, dirt from your fingers on the decals. Uh, I have chosen Railroad Crossing as opposed to Railway Crossing. I'll do it this way. Hook up some wires and hook up the lighted circuit and you should see it blinking. I'm gonna isolate the two positive leads and the two negative leads should be that this connects to my plus five, which is, is gonna be my white wire. And, and then one wire, the yellow wire, will hook up to one lead. One negative lead green wire will hook up to the other negative lead.